Sunday, guys. It's Roseanne White, and I'm here live in Scottsdale, Arizona, on this beautiful Sunday morning here in the desert to take you through a walking for weight loss workout on the Pacer Mini Pro uh, from Life Pro. So welcome, everybody. Uh, you know, every now and then I get a chance to come on Sunday mornings to to work out with you guys, and I know Sunday's a day to sleep in, and I don't sleep in that much. I made for me sleeping in at 5.30 is sleeping in. I'm a definitely an early riser. And I do that because I want to get my workouts done and out of the way before my workday starts. So happy Sunday. I hope some of you are sipping on your first cup of coffee watching me and that I can give you a little encouragement that maybe you're going to start a, uh, a new routine using one of the latest and greatest products from Life Pro. This is the Pacer Mini Pro treadmill. And guys, this, this little guy is incredible. Um, we've had it here in my studio for a couple weeks now, and my clients are really getting a kick out of it, only because it, it's just so darn cute. It's so small and cute. It's very compact. It's, it's portable. There's wheels on it. You can roll it. Uh, we launched the, uh, right, the Pacer, uh, mini treadmill that's under the desk two weeks ago and this one just came out and available it's on the website now and by the way it is available and is actually on sale um let me just take a quick little peek here at my it's now it's uh three three thirty five so it's about eighty dollars off of the regular price that life pro selling it for so catch it now catch this great deal for the the Mini Pro, this has the adjustable handrail so that you don't need to have a desk. The other, the, the, the Pacer Mini under the desk is perfect if you are a person that works in the office and wants to move. But um, this guy with the rails is perfect for those of you who just need that safety feature of a handrail. And honestly, I like it too. Uh, I take intervals of not holding on to help me with my balance and coordination because balance is something we should be practicing constantly, constantly. I mean, every time you take a step and one foot is off the ground, you're practicing balance, but then the floor is moving, you get the treadmill moving, then it's a little more challenging. So today I'm going to be taking you through approximately a 30 minute workout. And, um, it is true, you can lose weight walking. And um, I did, over the week, I thought about this a lot, and I did a little bit of research on it too, even though I've been in this field for over 25 years. And, and the evidence is clear. Walking help consistently for at least 150 minutes a week will help you to lose weight. So um, I put together for you guys, I you probably won't be able to see it really well, but let me see my camera. Yeah, not really. Anyhow, I put together a walking for like weight loss program for you guys. So if you're interested in this, uh, I'm going to put my email in the chat box, Roseanne LiveFit, L-I-V-F-I-T-T, or you can direct message me through Facebook and Instagram. I will send you this PDF file. I'll also post it in here. I think I'm gonna try. I think I can post a PDF file on the Life Pro VIP page. I think I can. I haven't tried yet, um, but we'll get you this chart. It doesn't cost you anything. But what I've done is I put a plan together of walking five days a week for four weeks, and I challenge you to try this workout, this program, I should say, and let me know how it works for you. So I'm going to talk about this just for a little bit, guys, and we'll get into the workout. Um, and I want to just talk a little bit more about the whole idea of, you know, the benefits of walking. It's it's functional living. We're talking about thing, something we need to do. And um, besides improving your fitness, your heart health, that is the most important muscle of your entire body, improving your heart health. It's going to help things like reducing depression, uh, improving your fatigue, creating less stress on your joints. It's not impactful. You're just actually helping move the joints, lubricating joints. You're going to reduce pain because guess what? When you start losing weight and moving muscle, you're going to feel better. Um, and reduce the risk of further weight gain, prevent risks or reduce risk for cancer, chronic diseases, 
increase endurance and posture. And you guys know I'm all about posture. I've been a Pilates teacher and a fitness trainer for over 25 years. And it's all about how you align your body for optimal results. So ideally, it's probably best to walk in the morning. Some, some studies say walk before breakfast. My, this is my opinion, okay? You don't start your car without gas, right? You gotta have some gas in the tank. Sure, you could have had a whole bunch of calories the night before, but they're already converted, stored as into your fat cells or whatnot, but we'll tap into those calories later. But you gotta have a little bit of calorie intake before you start working out. So I generally might have a little bit of a almond butter, sun butter, some a nut butter, and a little piece of apple. Just something if I'm gonna work out. I don't wanna fill my belly up, but I wanna start the fuel. I want to start tapping into the fuel sources, and then once those calories are burned up, and they'll burn up quickly, then it's looking for more calories, and it won't take it all from your muscles, right? Okay, so that's just my my experience, and that's what I've been doing for a long time now, and it's actually it's been working for me, so I'm not going to stop. I I think intermittent fasting is awesome. This is not a program to talk about intermittent fasting. It's talking. This is to talk about how to have optimal health walking on the treadmill. So we can discuss that one later. Okay, so um, one thing I find very helpful too, and I want to share this because it's important for me. I have on one side of my family a history of diabetes, and my AC1 levels tend to run high, even though I'm very conscious about what I eat. It's just genetics. And sometimes, you know, as much as we try to change genetics, and I do try, they're there. So walking, if you're walking approximately 30 minutes most days or all every day, like I'm talking consistently, okay, not a 10 minutes on and off, but doing a consistent amount of, 10 of walking, you're going to actually, um, it's going to make you breathe a little harder, right? It's going to tap into the muscles. The, it's going to look for that glucose in the muscle. And I talked about that, like you got to have some fuel, but it's going to look for some glucose to tap into. And it's going to help to lower your blood sugar levels. But again, don't do it being starved, okay? Because we, we don't want to tap everything on the muscle. But after you maybe after after a meal, say you don't want to work out in the morning, you want to walk with your your family and friends in the afternoon or evening. But you know, you don't have to have any excuse. You've got me and the the Pacer Mini Pro to walk. And uh, you know, if you don't want to watch this workout with me. And I've got a couple more coming, and we already did some. Put on uh, some tunes, put on something on Netflix and you, that you can watch, but just walk. Okay, that's not all I'm going to say about that right now, but let's talk a little bit about the walking program. So what's going to happen, there's two options. There's going to be an easy walk day, and there's going to be a speed walk day. Now, speed is all relevant to you and your fitness level today. Now, your fitness level today is not what was yesterday and it's not going to be what it was tomorrow because the more you do this and you are consistent, you will up your game, meaning you're going to up your speed probably within the next couple weeks. So every week we will add on. Today's workout will not be the easy walk. The easy walk is literally what it says. You're going to warm up. You're going to walk easy for 10 minutes, whatever that means for you. You're going to cool down, meaning walking slow, and then you're going to stretch. Now, every week, we're going to add that easy walking time. So it'll go from 10 minutes to 15 to 20 to 25, consistent minutes of walking, okay? The option two, which is the speed walk, and again, don't let that scare you, okay? It's not like you got to walk like crazy. It's just walking quicker than out of your comfort zone, Okay. So the, the, the workout will be like this. You warm up for five minutes, and I'll show you a really proper warm-up. Then you're going to easy walk for five minutes and speed walk for five minutes and go back to easy walk and then speed walk. So there's intervals where we're going to kick it up for only five minutes and then come back down. So the first week of this plan, it's only going to be two intervals, and that's what we'll do today. Next week, it's going to be three minutes of intervals. And then the next minute, it's going to be <clears throat> uh, four weeks. I mean, a four, four intervals. And then it's going to be five. Okay, so we're going to keep increasing the intervals so that uh, you will have 
uh, up to 20 minutes of speed walking. So again, I will give this program to you guys. Um, I just noticed I have to change. I have to. I have a few typos I'm going to fix, but I will give this to you. It will be available for you to use. And then also, we're at the at, uh, week two, three, and four. I'm going to add a little strength training, just a little bit of strength training. And I'm going to show you what that means today. Now, strength training. If you don't have the great, the awesome, awesome Light Pro. Power flow dumbbells, no worries. I suggest you get them. But you can use hand weights, you can use cans, you can use bottles of water. But I want to have some weight bearing because when we add some straight training to our walking program, bam, there's the calories, there's the burn, there's the weight loss. Okay, so I've talked for way too long, okay? I want to go in to start this workout. So let us begin. It is five, five minutes of warm up. Five minutes easy walk, five minutes speed walk, repeated twice. We're gonna. I'm gonna show you a little bit of strength training after we cool down, and then we'll stretch. Okay. I hope that makes sense, you guys. If you have any questions along the way, um, you know, old eyes. I'm gonna try to uh, see them in the chat box. If I don't answer you right right now while I'm on the the pacer know that I will answer you later on. So let's begin. Okay. Um, what I always suggest you do is have some water nearby. I'm going to grab a sip right now. I like to straddle my machine before I get on it or stand on the rails. Okay. Either way. Okay. So I'm going to turn it on. Make sure it's on. Once you hit the start, it will count down. And then the belt starts, and then I go on. I don't stand on the treadmill, the, the pacer, until it starts, okay? It's too much stress on the motor. And then I'm going to hold on, and we're just going to go heel, toe. Okay, this is at 0.5. It's slow, and it might be enough for many of us, okay? But I just want to stretch out. Five minutes warming up means... I want to get all my joints warmed up. Uh, and you know, I mean, how many bones? I We have all, tons of bones. Did, April, did Amber say over 100? I don't know. Anyhow, it's too early morning for me to remember too much stuff. <laughs> but there's a lot of bones and a lot of joints in our feet. So I'm going to heel toe it. I want to lift my toes, roll through my foot. While I'm aligning, I'm pulling my chin back, ears, shoulders, hips, knees and ankles. And we're taking some big breaths in and out. Now, this is about a seven degree incline. It might feel pretty intense for some of you. For others, maybe not too bad. But if you keep your belly pulled in, you won't stress your back out, okay? If you're dumping the abdominals out, it might feel in your back, but think about pulling up and in. And taking big breaths in and out. Now, we're just going to go onto our tippy toes, little tiny steps, just to feel your butt muscles actually kicking in. Nice and slow. Feel all 10 toes. And then let's change that and heels, just the heels. I'm not worried about rolling through my foot. I just want to lift up all five toes on each foot. Lift up the corners of your mouth as well, because this is going to feel good, especially when you're done. You'll feel successful. You'll feel empowered that you completed this workout. Great. Just heels. And if you have any questions, type them in the chat. Happy to share any of my experience with you. Okay, now let's bring one knee up and the other knee up and one knee up and the other knee Exhale. Blow all that stale air out. In five minutes of warm up, think abdominals are pulling in, so I want to lift from the lower abdominals. I'm just lightly tapping the rail. No, oops, you can hear me hit it. <laughs> that wasn't a light tap, was it? Good. And if you stay consistent, guys, you're going to 
feel, you're going to feel so much stronger by the end of your four weeks. So maybe you order your treadmill today. I've got the uh, link in the chat. I don't know if you'll get the discount because it's already discounted $80. Okay, last thing we're going to kick your butt. Heel to butt. Exhale. You're going to stretch out the front of the thighs, the quads, contract the hamstrings. But if you get your pacer this week and set it up, and you get this program, and you can start maybe July 1st, which is next Saturday, 28 days later, I want to hear your results. Take measurements, okay? Take measurements, chest, nipple line, natural belly button, your waist, your hips, your thighs, and and, and every week, just once a week, take those measurements and see how many inches you lose. Okay, we did our five-minute warm-up. So now we're in five minutes of easy walk. Um, for me, let me i got to feel this. Because, again, some days my easy walk is quicker than others. I'm going to start kicking into it. I am holding on with one hand. And I want to encourage you to do that until you're comfortable. I think I'm pretty happy at, you know, it's so funny. Uh, I was so impressed by this little treadmill guy. I got to tell you, I was so impressed. Um, where do I want to be? I haven't decided yet. I already walked 200 steps, believe it or not. I like Okay, that's going to be my easy walk, 1.5. You know, I might take one hand off and just let it move a little bit here. Especially if you're looking down. I don't want you to always look down, okay, but there is a nice little guide there that shows you how much time you've been on. It shows you how many steps, and it shows you your speed. And I'm going to switch hands, the other hand. Just going to let, let it go. Shoulders can roll a little bit here. Taking big breaths in and out. Now, I can honestly tell you, I feel a little bit of uh, my heart rate coming up. I didn't even put my my uh, Apple Watch on to see what's going on here. doesn't matter. I can feel it. So sometimes it's perceived exertion. I know that I'm in my easy walk. It's a walk. If I had to, I could do for 30 minutes. And there will be work days on this workout plan that you will just stay at this pace the whole time. The whole idea is consistency, right? You're on your pacer. You're making that commitment to you to do something for your body. And then you might find that by week three or four, your easy pace at 1.5, too easy. That maybe 1.7 is gonna be your easy pace. So when I feel that I've got a little bit of heart rate increase, this is when I take another breath in, a bigger breath, blow out all the air, and just try to push out all that metabolic waste out of my body. Now, again, abdominals are always pulled in. This is like abdominal training. It is, right? I'm conscious about my alignment I'm conscious about every step I'm taking so that I know I'm getting the best for my calves, my quads, my hamstrings, my glutes. My collarbones are lifted and my shoulders are down. So I've got this really good alignment that I can practice consciously now so my body knows this is how it was designed to work and operate best. I don't know about you guys, but I do spend a lot of time, believe it or not, in front of my computer working on programs. Uh, I, I send a lot of emails out to my, uh, I have a big clientele that I send literature out and I was sending fitness information out and creating content for, for them to help them. 
And so I'm on my butt a lot. So anytime I can get up and move around, that's why I love my job, just to be upright. It's all about posture. So how are we doing time-wise? We are, see, at 500 steps. Yep. And our time, we are, we've got about another minute and 40 seconds at this easy walk. So hopefully it's comfortable for you. I wouldn't, if you start getting comfortable, leave it here for right now. I don't want you to start challenging yourself right away, especially if you are new to just treadmill walking. And as I've said to many of my clients, you know, you're only a beginner once. You just don't stop once you start because then you're a beginner again, right? So consistency is the key. I know I find, and this is true with, me as well as many of my clients you know after the second or third week you kind of drop off you kind of lose your mojo so my suggestion is to you before you start your program your your uh four week program make a list big enough that you can put on your whether it's your ipad or your uh computer if you're if you're watching something that reminds you, why are you doing this? Is it, should be, first of all, for you. You're doing it for your optimal health. Maybe you're doing it for your grandkids so that you can stay healthy and fit to watch those little guys grow up. Maybe you're doing it because you've got a condition, a chronic condition that needs attention. It needs you to move. It needs you to lose a few pounds or get stronger. Okay, guys, we are at the five-minute mark of easy walking. I'm going to straddle and take a sip of water. I'm going to go ahead and lower down my speed for a second so I can get back on. Okay, I'm going to step on. Okay, here's five minutes. We are going to go to speed walking. Now, I was at 1.5. Uh, do I dare? I don't know. I think 2.3 is going to be my speed walk today. Because I got to do five minutes of this. And I was telling uh, one of my clients when I first set this up, and she looked at it kind of like, kind of like, what? This is this little guy. And I said to her, oh my gosh, you would not believe. 3.0 on this device is very, very quick. So I kind of like the speed walk right now at 2.3. You may be different. Your easy walk might be 0.7. It's cool. And your speed walk might be 1.2. It's all right. It's your road. It's your ride. It's your walk. I noticed on the uh, VIP page, Yesterday, the other day, someone was asking about how tall you should be or what height is best for this uh, pacer. Now, I'm five, six and a half. I think I one time was five, seven, but kind of shrinking here. And uh, this stride is perfect for me. I don't do a long stride, and the primary reason for that is... You stay core connected. Longer strides, if you tend to have low back issues, and I do, um, put a lot of pressure on my back. I, I couldn't understand when I was younger, and I tried running. I've never been a runner. Not in my. It's not in my programming. But I would try to run, and between the impact, you know, those long strides just didn't work for me. And I thought for the longest time, and maybe you do too, oh, treadmill, so boring, you know, not really. That's just an excuse for me that, because this is actually not boring. Um, it's, it's doable, so I don't need to necessarily challenge myself with, can I run up the hill? If I had to, I could, but I want to be able to be successful 
in my workout. <laughs> and yes, uh, actually, I want to see what my heart rate is because I can tell you right now, whew, I got a little huff and puff going. Indoor walk. Yeah, let's see what my heart rate says. Because it's up there. Now, I can put my arm and get that heart rate up a little more. I can take both hands off. Becomes very challenging, and maybe you just do that for a few seconds, okay? Or just lightly touch. Again, feel confident in trying to get out of your comfort zone, okay? Because it's always there, you can always hold on. And if you're very new, the safety feature of clipping the little clip to your shirt will stop the machine. Now, no, it doesn't stop it immediately, but it will stop the machine. But you can simply come on off and just, right? Straddle. Let's see what that heart rate's doing. Oh yeah, interestingly, <laughs> I'm at about 118 beats, okay? For me, 125, is like the base of my fat burning zone. So truthfully, I could probably kick this up a notch or two, but yeah, I'm gonna just kind of stay where I'm at. Let me see how my time is on this. Cause we've got one more round. We've got over 1100 steps right now. Okay, in 15 seconds, easy walk. Okay, look at. We've already been on here for 15 minutes. Isn't that incredible? It's always nice when you have someone to walk with though. <laughs> so let's get your programmer. Let's reduce the speed down. Now my easy walk was 1.5. I'm gonna take a little straddle. I'm, hold, I'm standing on the rails. I'm gonna grab water. Hmm. You come back. All right. Oh, this feels good. I actually will let go. I'm gonna shake out any tension in my body. <laughs> Got a little tense there for me for a while. And I didn't tie my hair back. I can tell you right now, I can feel myself sweating a little bit. You know, I've been teaching aerobic classes for over 25 years, I told you that. And I found to be very true, and you're probably gonna find it too, that working at low intensity aerobic, meaning you're working with oxygen, you're not huffing and puffing, that would be anaerobic. Working at low intensities will actually burn more calories, you'll sweat more, <laughs> you're gonna be detoxifying. So that's kind of a beautiful thing, right? Don't be afraid to sweat. It's, it's called workout for a reason. You're working things out. So don't be afraid to sweat. Now, you know, if you're part of our Life Pro family, you probably have lots of our other equipment, vibration platforms, uh, our, our uh, guns, our red light therapy. These are all perfect companions to your cardio, your aerobic activity. So when you get done with this workout, hit up your muscles. Maybe you know your quads are going to be sore or your calves with one of our guns just to loosen things up. Maybe you could do a little red light therapy on your hips. You tend to be a little achy. Or if you go ahead and dive into the sauna the sauna blankets. I actually love my my uh, do wrap sauna blankets. Love them, love them, love them. So you can increase your detoxification. Check out all those products, guys, on the website. Now, one thing I want to show you on this easy walk, watch my right leg. My toes are pointing out. I'm kind of tilting to, a, I'm going to call it 2 o'clock. So I'm getting a little more hip action on that my right hip, okay? Toes are pointing out, my left toes are pointing forward. 
I'm externally rotated. So now I'm working my hip joint a little differently. I'm going to do that for about maybe 10 more steps. Nice and tall. I call this the T position. If I were to put my heels together, I almost form a T from in my feet. Okay, now we're going to switch it. My all 10 toes are pointing forward. Just to look down to be sure that's true. Many of us tend to walk externally rotated in general. So, toes are pointing forward. Now, I'm going to shift and turn a bit to the to my left. And now my left toes are pointing to what I look at as maybe a 10 or 11 o'clock. It would be great to do nine, but my hips aren't designed like that. My right foot is pointing forward. And my left is pointing up. So now I can feel my left glutes. My rotators in my leg are working. I'm at 1.5. Good thing I have my fan on because it's getting warmer here. <laughs> I've got about 1,500 steps so far. And in 45 seconds, we're going to go back to our, our fast interval. So I'm still working on that extra rotation. And let's go back to parallel, okay? Now, it has been suggested through research that we take 10,000 steps a day. And I know some people find that very challenging, and I, and I feel for you on that. But you start where you're at, right here, right now. Okay? I'm going to go ahead and slow down for a second. I'm at the 15-minute mark. I'm going to just grab some water. Last interval, fast and furious, okay? So I am going back to my 2.3, 2 2.4, um, I can't remember. I know you guys can forgive me for that. <laughs> some days my memory works better than others. And I'm just not going to apologize for being human. <laughs> Okie dokie. 2.3. Hmm. 2.4. Let's do it. Okay. Quick, quick. Here we go. Okay. Shoulders relaxed. Collarbones lifted. Chin pulled in. Every now and then you got to remind yourself of that. You can pump arms. I keep my thumbs up. Keep the corners of the mouth up. I'll try it for about another 30 seconds or so. At any point in time, it doesn't feel right. Put your hands down. Regroup. Okay? I don't want you to be afraid. You have nothing to fear except fear itself. Then I'm going to check it out again. I'll increase that heart rate just a little tiny bit. <laughs> when I'm teaching classes and the going gets tough, I know I said to my clients, hey, you can do anything for 15 seconds or 30 seconds, right? Anything. It's not forever. It's just for the next 15 seconds. Yep, heart rate's coming up. <laughs> I can tell you, my butt is feeling this. That slight incline, that seven degree incline, perfect. You know, the beauty of this, the pacer mini, Weight capacity is 220 pounds. Height, again, I'm 5'6", works for me. So if you're more petite in stature, perfect, right? The belt itself from front to back is 25 inches. I take that back, 32, 32.7. Wide is 25. Now, I'm sure my, my shoe size is a 7, so um, just kind of put that measurement in. If you have bigger feet, you're going to probably want to think smaller steps, okay? That's all. Just, again, work more of your deep, deep pelvic floor and core muscles. Yep, <laughs> I'm up to 118. Let's see if I can get my one arm pumping a lot. Maybe a couple reaches. My hands start coming over my head, heart rate will come up. 
Now I didn't do this on the first interval, but I want you guys not to be afraid to play around with our movements. Join me on uh, Wednesday, and we got one more one more workout for you guys using the Pacer Mini for our metabolism boosting. So we're going to be doing those hit hit intervals where it's intense. Then we come off. We're going to do some weight training. We're going to be on, the, on here doing our intensity and then some weight training. We're going to make it fun and fast, not too fast, <laughs> to get you really kicking that metabolism. Woo, yep, heart rate's up. <laughs> Doesn't take much. Just a few extra movements on my comfort zone. Let's see, almost, almost 2,000 steps, guys. Isn't that awesome? We've got... One more minute here. So I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna put my hands back on, okay? So just those little kind of games you play. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, other side. If you count out loud, I know you're breathing. 125. Look at, I increased five beats just by swinging my arms. Yeah, heart rate's going. It feels good. It's good to be moving on a Sunday morning. And in three seconds, we slow it down. So here's our cool down. Whew. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm laughing because <laughs> that was quite a little workout. Guys, this stuff is great. Now I'm at a slow walk again. Heart rate's gonna come down. 125, that was my peak, okay? And I'm going nice and slow. And I'm going to cool down just like I started. I'm going to feel that heel-toe action. I'm going to feel all that blood flow in my feet. Okay, I'm just getting a big stretch up. Another big stretch up. So I like the cool down. Now I started teaching uh, spinning, indoor cycling two decades ago. And uh, what I found very interesting, we used heart rate monitors then, they, you strapped around your chest. Now we have these uh, watches, which are pretty accurate. I think heart rate monitors around the chest are a little more around the arm. These are pretty good, okay? Pretty good. Um, but what I was taught was the sign of Good aerobic health was in the recovery, which means once you come down from whatever you're doing and you're in your active recovery, meaning I'm not stopped, I'm still moving, in the first 10 minutes, or 10 minutes, in the first minutes, you want your heart rate to drop at least 10 beats. So, oh gosh, I'm already at two, two minutes of recovery and I'm down to 95. I dropped 30 beats in two minutes, okay? And that's pretty typical for me. I have good recovery. Do not be alarmed if in the beginning you're like, wow, my heart rate doesn't come down. Just relax. Walk slow, breathe in big, breathe out deeper, force that exhalation so more oxygen comes in. Remember, we're talking aerobic training with oxygen. Our muscles will burn more fat the more we're in our aerobic place, not anaerobic. I cannot stress that enough, especially as we age, okay? We do not have to do burpees and all those intense things. Some of my exercises, workouts with you guys might have looked up pretty intense, but you gotta start somewhere. 
So maybe you're doing baby squats, and then they go a little deeper, and they go a little deeper because you get stronger. Um, I, I had the opportunity to work with a client last week, and we did some vibration platform training with, with lunges, very new for this person, and uh, we worked on form. We used a pole to help with the, the best form, and she looked fabulous doing it, and she felt good doing it. So remember, you're only a beginner once. Now my heart rate's down. Yep. Okay. We've got about another minute and a half here, guys. And then we're going to come off. So roll your shoulders out. Okay, if you don't want to hold, let go one arm, and then they roll those shoulders out. Make sure if there's any tension that you might have gotten holding on, and it can happen. I know you, it's kind of scary in the beginning if you're if you're new to this. I, I I feel for you. I get it, but just try to let go of any tension. Okay, you, you can feel your feet. If you ever feel unstable, just be like, say to yourself, okay, I feel my foot. I feel my other foot. I feel both feet. I feel my hands. I'm connected. You ground yourself from that worry, that fear, that fight, the flight that we often get. Okay, where are we at time-wise? Before I stop, so I want to see my final steps. 2,310 steps. And in 30 seconds, we're coming off. Wow. So if your goal is 10,000 steps a day, which is... The norm, I think I started saying that and I lost track. Okay, 10,000 steps would be optimal. That might be a big number for you right now, but right now we've got 2,300 steps out of the way. So you've got the rest of your day to maybe take another 2,300 more somewhere else doing something else. And if you stick with my program, I'm going to just shut off. Perfect. Good, we're off. Okay, excellent. So interestingly, we're going to just roll the shoulders now. Okay. I'm going to show you a five-minute strength training circuit. Eventually, you'll do this circuit twice. But the goal will be, when you're in your program, 10 minutes of strength training by week three and four. Okay? Maybe it's even week two. So I'm going to take my five-pound weights. Okay? There's only six moves. Okay? Only six moves. So the first one is external rotation. Palms are up, elbows are in, and we're gonna externally rotate. I like to do a split stance, guys, so that means one foot's back, and externally rotate, 10 reps. Chest is lifted, keep those elbows in. Those work the, all the shoulder rotator muscles, okay? Next one is hug a moon. I'm going to step back here a little bit. Let me get a sip of water and move my... Hug a moon. Elbows are at 90 degrees. I'm in my split stance. I'm going to tap and down. I call this one hug a moon. Exhale and inhale. If you don't have weights yet, two water bottles. Make sure the abdominals pull in and you exhale every time you come up. Four more. How'd you guys like this little treadmill workout so far? Great. Okay, that was more than four. Okay, the victory press. That's what I call this, this victory press. So the last time I put my arms up, my palms face the back of my head, okay? I'm in my split stance, and I'm going to reach up and down. My elbows are quite wide. That way I won't be in my neck on this. This is a weight-bearing exercise, ladies and gentlemen, that are dealing with osteoporosis. We want weight-bearing on your joints. This is safe, done slowly, mindfully, and I'm talking and I can't count. <laughs> this week has been a real mind blower for me in my memory, but I'm okay with that. I, I know my name. <laughs> Two more. <laughs> and one more. Good. Arms come down. Roll your shoulders. Side raises. 
So I'm gonna sp split my stance again. A couple options for side raises, okay? You can go out to the side like this, or you can bend your elbows and go out like that. That's a shorter lever, okay? Elbow state 90 degrees, or arms out to the side. Chest lifts every time. I'm gonna count these. <laughs> Someone's asking if I can compare steps to work out at meeting program on the waiver. You know, I cannot do that because it is different. Walking is different than standing on the waiver, all right? But I would go to Debbie on this, two more. And roll your shoulders out. So um, I, would, I would get a wood, Check with Debbie. She is our vibration platform expert and compare the workout outputs. Um, all I can tell you is that in order to increase the heart rate, you've got to move joints a little bit more out of your comfort zone to feel, uh, get the blood pumping more. I love my vibration platforms, but I definitely move on them. I step on and off of them. Oh, good. Yeah, that's yeah. I'd like to help you out, but I really can't compare that. Um, I know you're on steady walking. I understand that. But again, I want you to feel at 0.05, we walk, right? We can walk. And don't be afraid by something moving underneath you. It's just new in the beginning. And you have something to hold on to, but 0.5 is a nice slow walk. Okay, so just... Walk around and see how that feels, okay? Shoulder press is your last one, guys. You have two options here. Okay, 90 degrees lift and lower. I don't do big presses. I don't, I don't, um, I don't come all the way up. That's my neck, okay? Or you can go back to goal post. You can alternate. Military press and then goal post press. But again, I want to encourage all of you if it is possible for you to walk, walk. And if it's not 10,000 steps, if it's 100 steps and you feel good, you are successful. And then the next day, it might be 120 steps. And you pay attention and you log it. And I think I've done enough reps, okay. <laughs> And then we're going to stretch out. So I'm going to stretch out my arms first, tuck the chin. I mentioned about logging, hands behind the head. Keep a calendar handy. The only way you know about your progress, go bend side, is to track it. Okay? Um, the most success I have with any of my clients, whether it's fitness or nutrition, Coaching is by journaling. Take your hands behind you, interlace, and press down. Otherwise, you don't remember. I don't remember what I do from day to day unless I put it in my, my fitness and food log. And I do that. I have to log it if I want to improve or maintain and improve. Hold on. You can put one foot here and let's lean back. There's your hamstring. But if you don't pay attention... You don't track what you're eating, putting in, and how you're outputting. You um, have nothing to compare to. Switch legs. So just nice, long, push your butt back. And you will find, and, and I promise you, because I see it, I work with clients that have lost 35 to 40 inches in, in a 10-month period. Besides... 20, 30 pounds, because it's about not quick weight loss. It's about steady. But they log. They log everything. Knee up, grab on, and quad stretch. You can see, oh, I ate too much sugar today. I ate too many carbs today. Too much. I didn't eat enough protein today. You'll know. And you can compare what worked and what didn't. And then switch. You can hold on to all. I like to bring my knee up, grab on. And then roll the shoulder back. If this quad stretch is too difficult for you, and it might be, 
All you're gonna do is hold on and put your foot here and drag your hip forward. All I wanna do is open this up. You can't grab onto your heel, don't worry about it. This putting the shoelaces down and pulling the hip forward will be perfect for you. The last stretch we'll do, or actually there's two more IT band. One foot behind, bend your knees, push your hips out, and then reach your arm behind your head and then straighten that back leg. Oh, you, you'll feel it right away, right in that hip. Let's do the other side. Outside foot back, bend the knees, hip out, hand behind the head, and straighten. Figure four stretch for the glutes. If it's possible for you, you sit back. Okay, this is one option, okay? I'm just crossing my leg over in a figure four, okay? You can do all these stretches on your platform too, by the way. Or you take your chair, you have a seat, you cross the leg, I'm gonna show you from the side, and you hinge forward. I'm looking at getting this from the hip to the thigh, that all the muscles that connect the pelvis and the legs. Okay, so those are your stretches. Guys, I was on here a lot longer than I expected because I did chat a little bit, but I wanted to tell you about the benefits of walking for weight loss. I wanted to show you a complete program that's doable, as well as the strengthening and stretching. I have a workout. I need to, I need to um, fix a few typos, and I'll be logging this. I'll be putting this on the VIP page for Life Pro Group, or you're going to text me, private message me, or I'm going to give you this. There's my email, Roseanne at livefit.com. Okay, email me and I will send you this four week walking for weight loss program. And if you have questions on this, you can hit me up. I'll, I'll be happy to help you out. Okay, but um, I understand that in the beginning, you're only a beginner once. You start walking and you will feel stronger, you'll live more fit, and you're, you'll age well. So, thank you for your time and attention. I hope you have an amazing Sunday. Please join me on this coming Wednesday. We'll do another workout using the Pacer Mini Pro. And check out the deal on the Life Pro website right now. 80, what is it? 80, $84 off. $84 off. 84 off the price of the Pro with the handles. And I think the um, under the desk version of the handles is also on sale. Don't quote me on prices. Just check it out and order yours today. Have an amazing day, guys. My honor and pleasure to serve you and the Life Pro family. Bye for now. I'm off to Pilates.